first time I had citizens come in that live in this community, older people, I mean some young ones, they'd walk right up here to, and look down here and the first thing they would see was either a place they knew about, familiar with, lived there, but it just, it blew their mind. They couldn't believe they'd see it. This is Larry Shute's hometown, Salisbury, a tiny rural place in southern Indiana where he's lived his whole life. Or rather, it's a scale model of Salisbury, as it looked decades ago in its heyday, that Larry built from scratch. There's the Yoho General Store, which is still a treasure today. There's his own childhood home, which is still around too. The enormous tulip trussle, just outside of town. And memorable spots like the feed store, train depot, and Dutch's Cafe, all which closed long ago. It's a model train set to the extreme. It has lights and sound and plenty of small town history. I've kind of always modeled things because I couldn't have the real thing. I knew that I could never afford to own a real railroad. So I chose modeling to compensate for that desire and it worked. Larry began building this precise, incredibly detailed replica in 2006 finding that it combined many things he loved. Salisbury, of course, but also railroads, model trains, and photography. Larry remembers getting his first camera around 1957 and documenting the town, photographing streets and buildings and scenes of everyday life. I did that, but not knowing what I was gonna use it for, I just did it. So I shot probably, I'd say 100 pictures. Anytime there was any kind of thing going to happen that would change the face of the community, I wanted to be sure I had pictures of it before it happened, and then pictures immediately following. Larry was a volunteer firefighter in his community for 50 years. He and his wife had two daughters and raised their family there. He's basically the town historian. No one knows Salisbury better than Larry. Over the years, he could sense his beloved town changing. The high school closed, Dutch's cafe shuttered, and other places followed suit. I don't believe I could have gotten any more guidance in life and more knowledge about life anywhere else than here. I didn't want to see this town go away and become something that I wouldn't be proud of. So I had retained all this stuff in my head, if you will, and that when I decided I wanted to do something to keep this little town alive, at least in my memory. Larry used the photos to piece together the Salisbury he remembered. The photos clued Larry in on the measurements he needed to build everything to scale. New technology like Google Earth let him get even the elevations right. The rest he filled in the old fashioned way by surveying things himself with a measuring wheel. Proudest part of it, I, I guess it's the knowledge that I had in the back of my head that I applied here and helped me make this as accurate as I could. When people would walk in and see a particular thing and, and say to me, oh, there's da 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 da, whatever it would be, then I knew I'd made the mark, you know, I'd scored. So I find that very gratifying. Complimentary, yes, but I didn't do it for that reason. I did it for me, but it turns out I did it right for me. One part that wows is Larry's model of the tulip trestle, the longest train trestle in the country at 2,295 feet long. In real life, the bridge connects Salisbury to the community of Tulip, but in Larry's model, it connects to the fictional city named Shootsbury. Back in Salisbury, it is details from a bygone era that draw you in, like the outhouses and LP gas tanks in the backyards. Gathering all of the details for the model has been a trip down memory lane. I can remember probably 56, I go to the general store up here and they would have the counters lined with Christmas gifts at Christmas time. The cafe, we ate lunch there. It had the best sandwiches in the world ever, best pies, best milkshakes, all the simple things of life and probably stuff we shouldn't be eating. But it was great. It was great to be a part of that life and a part of that town at that point in time. For Larry, the replica is a labor of love. 
Nine years after he started building the model, Leary is still adding to it, which begs the question, when will it be finished? Probably when I take my last breath. I, just, I can't imagine ever completing it because life is what you make it. And I've always tried to be a part of life, a part of the community. And I've always felt like because they, they being this community, gave me so many things that I wanted to give something back.